All right. This feels like it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello, folks. Lights are reflecting today. How is everybody? Thanks for coming in. I have a variety of things today. Um, we've taken a bit of time once in a while to stop in and uh, I guess we're kind of gaining some stock here, aren't we? Yeah. Finding odds and ends here and there. and We purchased um, a big collection of lapel pins this past week. So slowly we'll be going through them and bringing them out onto the sales. We're going to do about 40 of them here today. They're the first of the ones that we will be bringing out. So you like $2 items. Yeah. Well, they're going to be $1. $1. Oh, yeah. $1. Yes. But we'll do that towards the end of the sale. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. But uh, yeah, I think we've got like 20... 27 items before that 26 yeah we could we've found a few things we found a lady that closed on a store uh four hours away uh, that's where she was located mm -hmm. so we bought quite a bit of things off of her she was selling off inventory yeah and uh like you mentioned these stock pins we ended up buying the whole basket that they had our whole container yeah yeah, I couldn't just pick out a few, so I asked, how much for all of them? <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, how Jacqueline. are you? Yeah, we've, I don't know, we've kind of upped our game a little bit. It feels like... Uh, Hi, Sue. Bought some more. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sue. Oh, you came over from D's sale. Is she done? I appreciate that. Thanks for coming in. Well, we found a few more items that... Uh, well, we're starting to get into some of the things we kind of like, the glasswares and stuff. So mm -hmm. see how it goes, I guess. Yeah. Um, if I guess if we don't sell, we keep what we like. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so you got these all listed here again? I or do, yes. They're not um, shuffled or anything yet, so you might want to just kind of randomly pick from there. Okay. But uh, if you're not familiar with our sales, we are shipping from Saskatchewan, Canada. And our prices are in Canadian, therefore. And I use Canada Post to do all of my shipping. And we're starting to ship an invoice every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So that um, helps to save money on shipping. And um, yeah, if you would like your items before that, then just let me know and we can certainly do that. Um, yeah, someone might not want to wait two weeks. They might want it right away. Yes. So and if you're willing to pay for that shipping right away, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Just let us know. Um, Coming off a bit of a, a rough week. Week. Well, not a bit. It's a very rough week. Rough. There was there was blessings and there was tough yes. times. It was a mix Just of emotions. A, a much a huge roller coaster of emotions. This uh, well, really, this whole month has been. Um, my mother um, passed away last week, and we laid her to rest on Tuesday. And so that's why we weren't here last Saturday. We just needed to take some time. Um. But our daughter had their third baby, and uh, he's doing really well. He was born a whole month early, but he's doing really well. He's at home, and uh, mom is getting stronger every day, it so we're very, very thankful. Emergency C-section, so. Yes, yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thanks, yeah, Jacqueline. It's, it's been. It was, uh, everything was kind of happening at one, at one time. Yeah. Um, her daughter wasn't due till later in July, and they just they were concerned with blood vessels and where the baby was. Yeah, uh, they had it was to, a complicated placenta. Yeah. is what they were saying. So, so that was successful. Yes. After that, uh, Rebecca's mom did pass. Yeah, which she was suffering quite a bit. So it's 
suffering is eased, but it's hard now for, well, for everybody and especially her dad. And yeah, my dad. My dad is having a really hard time. So yeah. I would covet your prayers for my dad. He's he's really he's he's having a really hard time. So yeah. I would I would definitely cover your prayers um, for him, especially. Um, but uh, and then back into uh, our daughter graduated yesterday yeah. and so did her son from secondary. So yeah, up and so down. It's just been happy things and just so very sad things. It's been a roller coaster of emotions and I don't think that's everything has kind of sunk in yet. Um, I, I'm, I almost feel guilty that I'm not, um, I don't know, gi giving my, my full thoughts to the grieving process. I don't know if that's a thing. I know everybody has to grieve their own way, but I feel so busy that it's almost like I don't have time to grieve, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Well, there's um, other things involved. It's just, it's just been so, so, so busy. And my, we haven't been able to see my mom through the, while well, she was in the hospital until it was terminal um, at the very end here. So it, it feels really weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just. At least we could see your mom. There's yes. compassionate. Visit, visiting. Uh, given, I guess, so yeah. we could have a good conversation. Actually, yeah, just, we were uh, all able to say goodbye, yeah. and it was it was really wonderful. Um, we feel very blessed that we were able to do that. Uh, but I think we will just start. All right, selling. Okay, well, welcome again, and uh, just a variety of interesting items here tonight. So we'll just dig into it. We'll grab the first tag here. Slave bowl glazed. <laughs> Rebecca description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what else to call this. I knew I knew that I would know what it was if I described it as a sleigh bowl because it's kind of shaped like a sleigh, isn't it? It is. It has kind of a, I don't know, it's like that blue mountain pottery yeah. finish to it on the sides. And then the bottom, it's kind of like a wood grain finish on it. Yeah, it's, it's really, really neat. It is really neat. It's in perfect condition. No chips, cracks on the bottom. There is no, they've written 75 on the bottom. I'm yeah, sure I don't know that if that would be one. the year or what that would be. But um, how how long is this? Let's give it a quick measure. In lots of glass. It is eight and a half inches long and about three inches wide. We're asking five dollars for that number twenty-five for the sleigh bowl glazed pottery. To claim an item, you just uh, type the item number that we gave into the chat, and the first one that we see uh, will get to purchase that item. That's right. Well, another piece of pottery coming up. Oh, yeah, this is a three-piece set. This is a three-piece set. Yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, it looks really cool. If you follow us on Instagram, I previewed this one in um, the little preview video that I put together. It's a pot, and it also has a matching cream and sugar. Give that to you. Um, now, I don't see any markings on the bottom as to who the maker might have been. It might just be... It might just be a hand or a, a hobby piece, but it is very beautifully done. I just, I just don't know anything about it. This we have the, uh, the lid here. Mexican the bottom. Bottom. It's rough on the bottom. Yeah. Glazed on the sides and on the inside smoothly. Yes. Glazed. So it's definitely a functional piece. Yep. And it's decorated on both sides. Really beautiful. It's kind of a leaf. Yeah. Um, they all have the same pattern on them. So the height of the pot is seven inches. And for the set, the three piece set here is $15 and it is number one. And the lid, it really does sit on there very nicely. Really nice piece mm -hmm. and usable yes. just for display. 
So that is number one, $15. Next up, we have a bird salt and pepper shaker. That's these right here. Yep. These we also just picked up the these other day. These are really. They're they're Japan because they're so lightweight. You can feel it. Hey, they're lightweight and they yeah. are done very well. They are. They've they got both corks. Have the corks in the bottom. I. <laughs> There was pepper and salt in these. I stood at the garbage can for like five minutes shaking it out of there. Well, you didn't pull the pork or pork the cork? No, the, well, the one was almost like I couldn't get them out. So I just stood there and shook them over the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nicely painted. They're very well done. And they even have the feet yeah. painted on there as well. These are nice, a nice set. So these two little cuties are going to be $6 and they're number 13. You can hear a neighbor's dog. Yeah. It's been barking for a while. <laughs> he's just really happy or he's really hot. Oh. It's a bowl of water. Next we have a beagle dog. I think it's a beagle. It looks like a beagle. Is that it? Looks like he's running or he's gonna shake a paw or something. He's so cute. I love his I love his markings. His tail is up and he's super cute. And there's no chips on him or anything. No, he's in really good shape. Is he marked? He is not. Oh, he's actually, got little felt feeties. He's got felt feeties and he's marked, I believe that would be Japan. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Underneath that foot, I could peel it, but I'll leave it. Yeah. So this little guy is six dollars, number fourteen. Next up is a Nora take tidbit tree. Nora Taki. Nora Taki. Yeah. Which one is that? The, um, the one with the handle. Oh, we have another one of these. Yes, this one is the bigger. So North Taki sounds Japan. Yeah, Japanese. This is, it's beautiful. Sue would like 14. Sue? Thanks, Sue. Like 14. That is. All the right, puppy. the little beagle. Thank you, Sue. So Nora, I said Nora take, but because uh, he's take. silent, but it's Nora Taki. Um, and it does say on the back, made in Japan, it does say Noritake on there. Yeah. Um, I believe this one is the 10 inch tray. It looks like it could be 10. Nine and a half. Just under. Yeah. Just under 10. Just the painting on these are just so, so beautiful. Yeah. It was dirty, <laughs> but I gave it a, a really good wash with a soft cloth and pretty, it just shone up so beautifully pretty grit says hi all hi margaret so this beautiful noritake hand-painted tidbit tray is 15 dollars, and it's number 18. the gold on the handle is still really nice as well and that is what that looks like there. And these are in Canadian dollars, so yes. Um, for our US friends, it would be, I don't know, just a rough guess, $13. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Next up, we have a mallard planter. Is this a wall hanging one? Yeah, it's um it would double as a planter and a wall pocket because there's the little holes on the back. Oh, okay. Two holes there. It doesn't look to me like it's ever been used. The bottom is a, uh, I think just a serial number. Oh, hi, Melissa. Thank you. 1220 US dollars. Oh, for even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Hi. Yeah, so this, uh, this little guy is in perfect condition. When I was washing him, I didn't feel nothing. 
So this little wall, actually, I should measure it. Just, she, Melissa said, just finished my supper. Well, that's good. We all have supper later. Yeah, it's a little um, earlier here than where you are at. It's five and a half inches. And this one is $10 and it is number six. Next, we have the Lord's Prayer on a plaque. Also, a Niagara Falls souvenir. A Niagara Falls souvenir. Made in Japan. And you can't, there is crazing back here. And there is in the front as well. You can see there's some crazing going on. There is a, looks like a, I don't know, almost like bale string hanger on there. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. 814 US dollars for the $10 item. Yeah, and it's uh, it's shaped like a book. Yes. So it would sit flat if you put it on a surface. Right. Or it's, it it's got a hanger if you would want to hang it on the wall. Um, this is $5, number 17. There's a nice picture of the Niagara Falls on there. Yeah. I think that's the U.S. side, isn't it? You know, I think you're right. I Yeah, I think that's the U.S. side of Niagara Falls. It's been a while, but I think you're right. Next we have carved napkin rings, carved out of wood. Oh, yeah, these are cute. Debbie says, yep. Okay. So I think this one is a lion. Yeah, it's a safari set. They're carved out of wood, and then um, some of them are, I, I don't know if painted or drawn on. Zebra. Super cute. There's no markings on the bottom of these. Yes, our view is on the right, Melissa says. Okay. Giraffe. And they're double-sided too. Mm -hmm. really nice. So you could definitely use them as napkin rings, or you could just use them as uh, decorations. The rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Another. Yeah, giraffe. a different giraffe. Different giraffe. Someone spent a lot of time oh, into yeah. these. And a. I believe a cheetah. Yeah, I think so too. They're super cute. Um, there's my tag. Are these carved Sa napkin safari, safari. <laughs> napkin holders? Yep. Uh, Ten dollars, number nineteen. Is this pronounced Belarus? Belarus. Belarus. Yes. So the lady who I got this from told me that it was hand painted in Belarus. Um, it is a very heavy enamel, enamel um, bowl, I guess. It's like yeah. a wash bowl. Yeah. So she had bought this for her friend, right? Yes, and it was her friend's house that we got it out of. Yeah, so she friend. knew exactly how old it was and everything. Right. So it's, um, I think she said over 25 years um, this this bowl would be. So it's got a little bit of chipping here um, off of the Where's enamel. Where's Belarus? Where's Is that um, in the Ukraine? It, yeah, it's in Europe somewhere. I'm not sure where. So that's where the family had gone back to now. Um, their parents weren't doing well, so they went back and they're selling their contents and houses in 1940s house. So we bought some really cool Europe. Well, this is, yeah. So we bought some cool stuff from um, from this lady, mm -hmm. but not stuff that we could sell on the uh, 
on yeah. this sale it was big <laughs> furniture and we've sold most of what we had purchased from her on just local marketplace yeah uh, 1940s kitchen set was really neat looking and uh mcm bank or uh, i guess that's the german bench <laughs> <laughs> but anyway uh for this item it's eight dollars number 21 for its and it's not uh, the lighter to enamel. This one has got yeah, some Yeah, it's, it's the thicker, heavier enamel, and the painting on it is really pretty. So they must have brought it with them from Belarus. Yeah. Very pretty. I love the scallop on it. Almost looks like a pie plate. It does almost. Sue would like that one. Sue? All right, thank Thanks, you. Sue. Next up, we have four gold heart pins. Were these yeah. in there? Yes, these were out of the um, lapel pin bundle that we bought. These are all Variety Club, and these are the only four that I found in that lot. So I'm putting them all together here today. This is um, a tree with hearts. Yeah. The other one was two hands. And they're these are... Um, Another this one has like a lapel closure hearts. to it. Different closures. The, uh, the others have pins, but I'm selling them all together because they're all marked Variety Club and they're all the gold hearts. Um, and this and one that is... one is Monsters Inc. Oh, it is. Yeah. What are those two little guys called? Oh, one's a little guy. One's a big guy. Um, oh, oh. That's the little one-eyed guy. What are those two called? I can't remember. The Mike, blue monster. Mike and... Oh, I can't remember. So for the set of pins... Yeah, for the all four of them. It's $5. Number 27. I don't remember the name. Mike and Solly. Yes! <laughs> Mike <laughs> and Solly. Remembered. Yes! Yeah. Good for mask pins. Oh, yeah. Mike and Solly... Hands, two hearts, and a heart tree. Yeah. This one up. These images. Melissa would like those. Thanks, oh, Melissa. Right. Thank you. Put that uh, tag in there as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that'll be helpful. Thank you. Next, we have a bunch of brass miniatures. We'll pull them out so you can see them. Oh, yeah, these are cool. So one is a grand piano. Let's see if I can give you the full view of them. And fancy design on the bottom too. Another is a this one. You see that it's hinged. Yep. <laughs> Cute. It's your little wood um, tray for the fireplace. I think there's 11 pieces in here all together. 11 in total? Yeah. So they'll be just over a dollar a piece. This one is like a little mug tree. Or a coat rack. This one looks like it might be bent a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Minus whatever might have been on it. I'm thinking it was a mug tree. Oh. <laughs> this is a calculator. Look how cute. And a, the top rolls are spins. <laughs> That's got some weight to that one. Yeah. Um, is this a two-piece, the scale? Oh, uh, no, it's a telephone. Oh, it's a telephone. But it's missing the receiver. Wouldn't that be a baby grand? <laughs> yes, Melissa. That would yeah, be. <laughs> that would be a baby grand. So this is a telephone, but like Rebecca says, it's missing the receiver. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like it's a makeup desk. A vanity? A vanity. It doesn't move or anything. No, I think this one too. Do you think? Is oh, back. I bet the mirror is missing the out of there. The mirror is missing, yeah. Oh, that's probably what it is, yeah. The mirror is missing on that one. So some of these have a little bit of a wear and tear on them. A little tractor. Oh, a, little, a lot of weight there too. Do the wheels move? Yep, the wheels oh, spin, cute. and they spin individually. 
except the front does not spin it's stationary so it'd be like a packer actually like a vintage packer where they just had the roof so the back wheel spin but the packer was a solid wheel so this would be a pavement oh a pavement mm. uh, piece this i think goes with the fireplace set but it's missing um it's missing the little hangers yeah the, uh, the shovel pick, the pick and whatever you would use in the fireplace okay and this i'm not sure what this would be this would also be a towel rack? maybe by the uh, fireplace no something would hang inside so. whoops got lots of glass here <laughs> maybe And a tea kettle. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 11 pieces, so we've got one more. <laughs> and, yeah, I have knowledge of equipment. <laughs> oh, a clock. Yeah. A grandfather clock. So all 11 of these pieces, brass They're pieces, not all in perfect condition. Some are really good, and some of them are missing pieces. Are $15 number 20. I think your calculator is my favorite. I think oh, this is really cool, too. Yeah, that's cool. And the grand piano. Yes. This one is like almost like a filigree. It's not very heavy. Very cute. Could almost Sharon put says, something in there. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Okay, I'll take care of this. Okay. Oh, next we have a smash pot. This is not vintage, but it's really cool. Yes, it is. So we found this one at a garage sale and thought it was. Cool enough to bring onto the sale. It comes in its original box, so we can ship it in that box. And packing paper. So I'm not sure you pronounce it. It's a Terra. How do you pronounce that? Terra Mivdi? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> But it's called a honey pot and apparently you can buy these online and they are smashable banks so you put coins in and you cannot take them out unless you smash the bank yeah you're encouraged to break it once you've met your goal there's a really neat story that on the card here that goes with it and you can visit their website as well Mel it's uh, it's really cool sure melissa still on antibiotics for kidney infection Oh. Terra Mundi. Wow, Melissa's very knowledgeable. Terra Mundi. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Sharon. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of the nasty, annoying infections, right? Hopefully that clears up. Yeah. So when I we pick this thing up in the box, um, it look it's brand new. There was a coin in there, and I thought someone had just left a coin in, but there is a coin from the company that just, I guess, starts your um, money. I did. I was able to fish it out of there. Yeah. Start your bank, but it's it's essentially just a coin from the manufacturer with just saying uh, handmade in Italy, hand-painted in London, established 1997, and just this image of the pot. So for this one... Sharon, I had two shots. Hmm. This one we're asking $20, number 22. Yeah, it would make a really cool wedding gift or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's a neat pottery item. Something. I can't imagine smashing it. No, I <laughs> fill it with coins and let it sit there. Yes. You can't keep a bank without a coin. That's right. <laughs> And on the back, it says, make today different. I'm going to put this into the Sure, I'll put box. it back there. 
Yeah, twenty dollars Canadian is sixteen twenty seven US. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Melissa, I looked them up online. I think they're about forty five, somewhere in there, to purchase them. Where is this one? You have a quartz teal. Uh, quartz. This. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is this is probably not a vintage item either, but it's really really cool. It was from 10,000 Villages. Yeah. Made in Pakistan. I think this would be some sort of quartz. Still the same in my lab. Acquisition didn't come yet. Hmm. It's quite heavy. It's like a disc, um, a polished kind of agate of some sort. And it's a tea light holder. Yep. Um, yeah, you can see. You can see the original tag here from the 10,000 Villages, made in Pakistan. We're asking $8 for this. Number 23. 23, yeah. Yep. It is, let's see here, five inches across. We haven't gotten our second. It's been busy, but we need to get our second shot of yes. for COVID yet. Yeah, Miss Melissa could feel well too. A few people going through some health, some health concerns. We have a mailman. Jason found these too. <laughs> that dog looks like he is getting ready to bite his backside. Have both of their stoppers with them. So for the mailman uh, salt and pepper shaker set, we're only asking four dollars for these guys. Number twenty-four. They're cute. <laughs> Jacqueline would like those. Jacqueline, and Lynn was a close right. second. Thanks, Jacqueline. Melissa says, thanks, I think, and I hope my vitamin levels are too low. We'll be getting lots of vitamin D this week. It's supposed to be in the Celsius, 30 to 35 this week, all week. So hot day to work, hot days to work outside, hot week to work outside. Mm-hmm. Is this our most expensive item? This is, yes. Another. Um, we found another Lucite grape set ooh, with a beautiful. Pretty. Oh, they are different sizes. Yeah. And the branch is beautiful. It has some velvet, a couple of velvet leaves on the, of velvet leaves. the back side of it. It's a piece of driftwood that they've used for the stem. And it's, it's beautiful. Um, what would you call this? Like an amber or a tangerine kind of a color? Tangerine would be more accurate, I think. And yeah. I think uh, these sell for 65 plus in the mm -hmm. U.S. And they're more common in the U.S. than Canada, apparently. And that's where these are from. Yes. We ended up buying um, a few. This is, yes, that was another kind of more pricey lot that we've purchased. Yes, we they're about... Spend more money. They're about 14 inches. 14 inches long for this bunch of grapes, and there's quite a bit of weight to it. Yeah, there is quite a bit of weight. Yeah, it's it's really pretty. And like Jason said, the um, the lucite uh, balls are in different sizes on this one, which makes it kind of unique to some of the others that we got in the lot. Um, they do have the stand on them, so the bottom you can see more of the dripping yes. where it's tied. Yeah, you can kind of see. And I love the stem on this one, the driftwood. So cool. And the velvet leaves, you can see the age on them. They're just beautiful. We're asking $30 for this one. And they are number 26. And that they're different sizes, like the big, yeah. we're surprised how large some of these are. 
So they're not, they're kind of like glass, but they're a lucite. Yeah, it's like a acrylic or Door plastic stop. There you or go. something. Yeah, no kidding. It's heavy. Melissa <laughs> says, look at them balls. <laughs> There's a few of them there. To you. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, $30 is 2441 US. 30 Canadian. Next up, we have the Mexican pottery bird. There is no markings underneath, but it, as in most of the Mexican pottery, there is some, some rough finish on it. So on the feet and on the tail end, where you can see it set it down, there's the rough finish and the rest is glazed. Now, what kind of animal is this? Is I think it's like a pigeon or something. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean the painting. Oh. It looks like a deer skunk. Deer. A deer, <laughs> a deer skunk. Look at this. Oh, that. What is that? A deer raccoon. Raccoon deer. In Mexico. I don't know. I don't pheasant. know. A pheasant? What, is called, what? This, this oh, is this, pheasant. this, yes. But what's the painting on the yeah, back? Yeah, I don't know, you know what, what that, that one is. is? It looks like know. a deer with its tail of a skunk. Unique. Or not a skunk, but it has rings on it. And look at the, look yeah, at his me, hairy chest. Lemur. A lemur? Okay. He's got really nice eyes. I love this this portion of it right here. It's really pretty. Oh, okay. A dracoon. <laughs> okay, fox. so he is deer fox. He is nine inches from tail to beak. Look at his hairy chest. How much am I asking for him? You're asking twelve dollars. Number two for that guy. A fox? I don't know. It's a variety animal. Yeah. It's a conversation Whatever piece. Whatever you want it to be. A conversation piece. Sure, there you go. Next up is a strawberry milk glass. Yes. Thanks, Melissa. 12 Canadian is 976 US dollars. So this cup is better on the outside than it is on the inside. It's um I think that's Mexican milk glass. The it says Mexico in the bottom. Oh yeah, okay. Term termo crisa. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. The inside you can tell we Rebecca tried cleaning it more. Yeah, it's got some dirtiness to it there. I was gonna try bleaching it yet, but uh, time ran away on me. So, um, but the outside is really in great, great condition. This little mug I'm only asking three dollars for, and it's number seven. Did you want to run through some pins? Then get back into this stuff, or what's your thoughts? Um, I just thought we would do those at the end. Okay. We have another mug coming up, a Mexican pottery mug. Again, rough finish, glaze on a few spots. This is your. This is very classic for some of the other pieces we've had. Mm -hmm. And this one says en Ensenada. Mexico. It must be a certain region that they do the same paintings over and over I again. I remember that painting on another yeah. piece we had. Yeah. So it's still, a, you can use this piece or just this Oh, it. yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. It's glazed on the inside, so it's very useful. Um, again, only $3 for this mug, and it is number eight. And now we're going back. Up in price, I guess. Um, oh, Melissa this, wants that. Thanks, thanks Melissa. Melissa. This is a beautiful uh, glass dolphin with green and blue. It looks better 
here than it does on the screen. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't quite have that same that yeah, green just Yeah, it doesn't, does it? Interesting. Melissa says I have the other plate pieces of pottery. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh yes. I I remember I think we had like a toothpick holder and something else with that uh with that same oops. design. Mm -hmm. It's about six inches across and it is it's in good shape. There's no nicks or anything um on it this little white spot here is actually encased in the glass right there by his eye it's right in the glass so there's um yeah there's ah! no, there's no cracks or chips on him it is 15 dollars number nine for the little dolphin and it really does look better here. It does look better. Yeah, just the yeah. green and the blue shine that better through it. Yeah. Next, we have a sitting girl reading Big Hat. Yeah, I did not know how to describe her. <laughs> but that's exactly what it is. Yes, it is. It's a sitting girl, and she's reading. And, and she's she wearing has, a big hat with a, a bird on it. Looks like a parrot sitting on her. It's very cute. But there's a couple small chips right yes. there and there. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like she's. It looks very vintage. Reading to somebody. Made in. That's upside down. Made in Japan. Yeah. And the book says. How do you do, Tom? Hello, John. And then there's a picture of a swan on her book. Isn't that cute? Jason found this one too. I thought it was cute. Um, six inches tall. That one we're asking eight dollars, number fifteen. Next is a mid-century modern divided dish. I think you had this one up too on Instagram, right? Yes, I did. So this is Sovereign Potters, made in. This is made in Canada by Pine Pine Inglewares. Something like that. Yep. <laughs> so it's kind of a white with gray speckles on it. It looks. You can see that at all on the camera. Really pretty. Divided dish is about. Is it like a candy dish, I guess, yeah. or a serving dish? Anything you could use this for. 10 inches across is what it is. And for that one, we're asking $10, number 16. I don't know what you call the pattern. I don't Just know. MCM, I guess. <laughs> Next, we have we have a couple more of these, but they're larger. This is the smaller of the ashtrays. Yeah. And they're a nice shape. They're just the classic amber. Thanks, Melissa. Classic amber ashtray. Yeah, this one is probably about four inches. Probably about four inches. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, quarter square. Quarter square. So that one we're asking five dollars, number eleven. Good shape. Mm -hmm. I guess you could double that as a cup holder. You could, absolutely. Next, we have a nursery rhyme bank. This is another smash bank. Um, I looked this up. It he's, is... He's a mean little piggy. Yeah, he looks... Ooh, yeah. On the one side is Little Boy Blue. And the other side, now what was this? Little Bo Peep? No. I can't remember. She's watering, the watering her bluebells. 
Oh, I can't remember yeah, now. He smells bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he's meant. <laughs> yeah, it's a nursery rhyme smash bank. Um, the only little, and it's like a, it's a manufacturer's kind of little flaw in there. And it's not even really a crack. It's just like a hairline. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, there's is or little Jack Horner. How does your garden grow? That could, could be. be. Yeah, that could be. And that's what his backside looks like. And he is $8, $8 number, number five. five. Pig and the piglet dish. Oh, yeah, this is cute. Here he comes. <laughs> she. She. And she keeps coming. Yep. And she keeps coming. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a cucumber dish or a... Yeah, well, what they call it a cracker dish. A cracker dish? So it would look really cool you know, with your Ritz crackers. Lined up in here? That would look really neat. It says Ron Gordon Designs, 1983, yes. Taiwan. Yeah, super cute. Mama Sal with her piglets. I I got the demented idea of putting pigs in a blanket in here. Demented? Wouldn't that be bad? Pig Pigs in a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> So for the pig dish is ten dollars and it's number twelve. Show us a little tail, her tail, <laughs> and curly tail. Next is the curl whistle. Oh yeah, and it works too. Very yeah. well. This is. Pottery. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Melissa. So there's no maker description on the bottom. You blew in this already? Yes, I did. <coughs> Works good. Sounds like a uh, uh, recorder. It does, doesn't it? it? Totally sound like a recorder. So there are um, holes in his like neck here that you could put string put a string through to wear around your neck. But and this black paint on them for working today. This little um, turtle whistle is $8 and it's number 10. The niche lady would like that one. The niche lady. Hey, Danny. Thank you. Remember the you remember names. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As Rebecca's writing that down, I'll just uh, show you this next one. It is an owl, a porcelain owl, and it's like a vase. It goes right down deep into the to the bottom here. And uh, planter. A well, planter, I guess, or you could mm -hmm. put flowers in there. You sure could, yeah. It does have some crazing on it. You probably can't see it. Oh, Melissa told <laughs> Melissa told you I had a turtle today. Was yeah. that on, the, on your preview? It was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she likes her turtles. Some like owls, some turtles. It's, yeah, that's right. We just I think we just will like everything. I'm not sure if we have any specific. <laughs> just not snakes. Not snakes. No. For the owl planter. We're asking ten dollars, and he's number three. Put him in there. And our last item of large, like prior to the pins, I guess. Yeah. Now this one's very shiny. I'm not sure yeah. what to call it. Luster. Lusterware. I I don't know what how I feel about what's going on here though. When I saw it in the store, Jason was with with me, and I'm like, oh, an elephant with his trunk up, and he's happy. But and then, then I'm like, wait a tiger minute. Tiger is going for his throat. 
so, so I'm like, hmm. He's just giving him a kiss, I guess. That's what I thought. So Or cleaning him. Or that, yeah, that's what he said. He's grooming him or he's giving him a hickey. So then I thought, okay, he can go into the cart. Then I felt all right with it. <laughs> Even the um, the inside is got luster. Some yellow. Yeah, luster. it's really pretty. And it looks to be in good shape. It's uh, made in Japan, hand painted. Here's the symbol on the bottom. Yeah. Give this one a quick measure. Sure. And this guy is number four, and he is eight dollars. Six and a half inches tall is what this one is. The luster is just perfect on here. It's greenish. The colors are showing quite well, actually, on this one. Yeah, $8, number four. Thanks, Melissa. Yep, six fifty one US dollars. So Melissa has been really great helping us out there and mm -hmm. marking the uh, US dollars to the Canadian. Definitely a better deal on the U.S. side of things. <laughs> yeah. As, so yeah, as usual. we'll run through um, these pins. As I yep. said, they are going to be a dollar each. And I'm, um, and then we can come back to what didn't sell if anybody is Melissa interested. Is yes, she is. So, um, again, these little lapel pins, the ones that in today's, Sale are going to be a dollar each, and um, I'll just show them here. And I will pull a number from the pile. Yeah, it should go through pretty quick. If you, uh, I'm not sure it's quite a few here. Thirty. There's forty. Forty. Okay. So this first one here, um, I looked this one up, and it's the Jesus fish, and sure enough, it um, it says Jesus in Greek in the center of it. Um, <laughs> so this first one here is number 41. number 41. Next up. Oh, the niche lady. And Melissa's a close second. Thank you, Danny. Next up is a this see cancer I, it is the breast cancer like the awareness ribbon but there's a golf club through it so it must have been something a commemorative fundraiser yeah that was going to be number 65 and these are all one dollar one dollar yes. canadian so almost free in the u.s <laughs> Here, I'll let you put that one in there. Okay. This one, I, I'm not even sure. This looks yeah, like I, one of these uh, Japanese. Uh, yeah. I don't know what character this is, or or what it is exactly. It's got two plastic closures. And that one's going to be number 69. And one dollar again. One dollar yes. Canadian. Next up is a little Safeway pin. With a panda on it. Safeway panda. I know I didn't know Safeway gave out pins. Yeah. There's that's the uh Back of the pin. Number Melissa would like 69. 69. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. This was number 45 for the Safeway Panda pin. Oh, this one's, that's, I got to wait with that guy. He's way too cool. That's my favorite one. Yeah. Next. This one is just like a geometric shape in a gold tone. No writing on it. Um, mm. That's the backing on it. Your common pin latch. Yep. This one is 66. 
Well, is wearing pins common anymore? Or are they just collectibles? Oh, it's coming back. People put them on their hats or their jean jackets oh. or their um, uh, backpacks. Really? Yeah. Rihanna was asking for pins for her backpack. This one is a chief pin. Yeah. With the feathers, feathers on the hat. Same backing on that one. Number 43. Number 43 for that one. Initially, you would like that one. All right. Thank you. Next is go for gold. Uh, looks like a Coke. It's been an Olympic pin. It says go for gold, and there's Coca Cola on the bottom. I'm sure, if I should take it out of the bag. That's Coca Cola advertisement, go for gold. And I'm thinking it's something to do with Olympics. Number 56. And it's the same closure that most of them oh, have. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Initially, you would like that one as well. All right. This is a, you know those, um, <laughs> you know those little Ukrainian dolls. This reminds me of it's Ukrainian oh, doll, yeah, but it's there a you skeleton. Go. <laughs> um, it's half. What do they call them? Matrushka, Matrushka dolls. Mary Dugan joined us. You know, have you recognized the name? Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Yeah, she's been here before. So it's for the skeleton Ukrainian doll, one, <laughs> with the same backing on it, is number 46. The niche lady, Matrish, Mat is that how you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Victoria Ann says, Mat Mat I can't pronounce Matrushka. it. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. 42. 42 uh, is correct. 46, you, did we have one number 46 as well? It was 42, though. Your number says 42. No. Did I say 46? It is 42. Sorry, you might have I... said 46. It's 42. It is 42. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. The next one is just a, uh, pandas. It says panda on there, and it is a panda. Sorry. The niche lady, what is her name? Danny. Danny. Sorry, Danny. Same backing on that one. I'll look at it so I say it right. Number 55 for the panda. It's a couple of pandas. Oh yeah, that one I'm that one is, I looked that one up. It's a Kodak Colorkins. Um, he's the blue guy named Kismo. Okay. So he's a Kodak Kismo. Colorkins. Col Colorkins Kismo. Yes. He is going to be number 67. 81 cents US for the for one dollar. Right. Good deal. And this is I'm not sure it looks like it's supposed to be one of those um uh, yeah, this must, I think this is an Inuit um, symbol. It, it, seem, like I, it seems to me. Number 70 for that one. Same latch on the back. Most of them are the yeah. kind of pinch and pull kind of. This one says... Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord pin. Just looks like a brass writing. Yeah, all the ones of, that I pulled today are metal. They're all metal. Yeah. And that same pin latch. Mm -hmm. Number 33. I'm not sure what a woggler pig is. I don't know either. 
but it says umpire. Umpire. It's probably from some sort of a basket or a baseball? A baseball tournament or something, but I don't know what a wobbler is. A Melissa Knight. Number 35. Same pinching. Back. Lapel pin. Lapel pin. This one is that fish symbol again that says life on there. Green uh, lettering says life. Number 52. Well, this one would match the other ones. Mm, like, mm -hmm. You just call it a... Yeah. This was silver and the other one was gold. Yes. This was the other yeah, one. Yeah, that one. But it's smaller than the other one was. You could almost use that as a tie tack. Yeah, you could actually. You'd put a hole through your shirt, but it would work. I don't have a tie tack. I should use it. <laughs> Number 39. Next is a Viking sailing vessel. Yeah, I don't know. With the letters SSC on it. I don't know what this means. I also have like a, a long pin with the same symbol on it. And I do not know. Did I could not find up? anything no. about it. Must be for some. Most usually pins were used for advertising. Yeah. Number 40 for that one. This one again looks like a fundraiser. Oh, Melissa wants that one. Do you know what that is, Melissa? Just out of curiosity, any do you know what that is? SSC on the ship. Thanks, Melissa. And again, it looks like a fundraiser um, pin. Breast cancer is usually a, a pink ribbon. Mm -hmm. This one is a pink, light pink heart with a flame in it. The flame in it. Is that what used to have that? Not diabetes. Is it the Heart Foundation? Mm, I'm not sure. Number 58 for that one. Next is a cross with flowers. Oh, thorns. thorns. It's a cross with oh, thorns okay. on it. That was number 57. And here's another light black background with red. Yeah, this one's very heavy. Red L, or no, green L, blue I, red F, and a yellow E. To me, it would mean... Viking turbines? Oh, um, I have no idea. I don't know. It looks like a Viking ship. Mm -hmm. See, this life, to me, would mean something to do with abortion. Pro, pro Like pro-life. Pro -life. Okay. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I could not find anything about it. That one's 59. Yeah, when it comes to these pins, a lot of it we just don't. This one, I think this might be from the Wish Foundation. Has a cloud and shooting stars. Oh, maybe. So I'm wondering if that's not. It's it's got a brass or a gold trim on it. Or? Yeah, it's like enamel. Number 60. This one is a shell with, backdrop. With what looks like Mother Mary holding a sheet Here, of I'll wheat. Over there. This was very curious. And I I couldn't find anything about this one. It's heavy. 
That one will be number 32. And the shell background is kind of interesting mm. where they would come up with that. Whoops. This one I don't think is, Melissa would like 32. No, 32. Okay. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Melissa. This one, I don't know if it's for any fundraiser or just to look cool, but it's a... Uh, Again, that same flame that the heart was in. There's a flame, but or that was in the like heart. Uh, silver pearls. And this piece in the back is a different. Yeah, it's like extra. Yeah, it's nice. Like that's not coming off your shirt. It's nice. <laughs> or wherever you're putting it. 61 for that. There's another one. Uh, I think this is another type of Inuit. Yes, I think so too. There's four of them. I'm not sure if that symbolizes anything, but it has that same as the last one. There's that pin attachment. It's it looks uh, a little more expensively mm -hmm. done. Number sixty-two for that one. Then I I remember these little guys when I was a kid. Number 62 for Melissa. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Yes, I do too. And I'll pull them up. Do you remember these? The fuzzy bear pins. The fuzzy bear pins. So these have got to be... Oh, I ripped the bag. <laughs> so he's a little rough, a little dirty, but these little fuzzy bear pins would probably be 80s. I think so too. He's um, gray and white, and he's got chocolate on his forehead. I imagine most of these pins are from, from 80s. Mm -hmm. Number 47. And if you're next time you want to wear a tie, you could just put a pin on Oh, <laughs> a pin of a tie. It's dark blue and light blue tie. Number 48 for that one. Yeah, and that one is like enamel. Yeah, like it has that board finished mm -hmm. to lay inside. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the, uh, I remember my sister had that window decorations. Stained glass. Stained glass, you do yeah. it in the oven. I think there's a unicorn or something like that. This one just says someone special. And I think it's a bit of a cherub or an angel with a sun or a halo and a heart where it says someone special in there. Number 49. Next is an apple. Apple with the leaf on it, and that's that's brass or gold. Yeah. Small little pin, number 63. My hair is your length. How can you keep it down? He always braids. My hair is your length. 63 for the niche lady. Thank you, Danny. Um, My length? <laughs> yes, yours. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I it, when I when it gets too warm on my neck, then I just pull it back. But usually, I'm okay. Yeah, and it's air conditioners running. Okay, so, so Danny, for that outside, one. outside it's hot. Inside, it's okay. <laughs> Um, this one looks like it could have been a Threshermen. Yeah, that looks like a Saskatchewan-esque pin like with, the, with the wheat sheaf and the, the what is it called? No. Wheel? The, yeah, the wagon wheel. Wagon wheel and a wheat sheaf. This is because it gets too hot for her. Yeah. <laughs> this one's number 46 for the. Yeah, I'm still rocking my quarantine here. I definitely need a haircut. My oldest son is too. <laughs> Letting it grow. 
This might be make a wish too. I'm not sure. It's just a silver um, star. Oh yeah, that one I didn't look up. No. With a bit of a cutout, a swirl cutout on it. This one will be number 50. This one, I don't know. Doesn't it look like Pumba? Yeah, is it Pumba or is it part of a sports team? I have no I idea. No, he looks like Pumba. Pumba. Because it's one of these that. Kind of glaring. Why would you make a pin of a pig like this? Or a boar? Red boar? Or a, like a, a, some sort of a boar. They do look better when you pull them out of the bag. Yes, they do, definitely. So this little guy is the same clasp. It's a red boar. He's number 51. Next, we have a motorcycle. Looks like a touring bike, like a Honda touring bike. The niche lady would like that red one. All right. It's a motorcycle pin. Same clasp in the back. Arkansas. Oh, I don't know. Should look it up. He no. just looks like Pumba to me. Pumba. <laughs> Lion King. Yep. Pumba, not in front of the kids. Yeah, how's that song go? Hakuna Matata. Right. An each lady would like this one as well. The bike one. All right. Thank you. Next, we have a cool, I don't know, it's a Model T. Vintage car, anyway. This is one of my favorites on the bunch. Number 30. Black background back there. The windshield actually whitened the rims as white as well. That's cute. Yeah. The niche lady would like that one. All right, that was number 30. Number 30. Another cool one is an airplane pin. Has a bit of a tail fin on there. Same clasp on the back. That one will be number 37. The niche lady with a glider. Oh. Yeah, it's got wide wings. Oh yes, yeah. of course, yeah. The glider. Thanks, Melissa. Melissa has a lot of knowledge. The niche lady, yes, 37. Okay. That's Danny, right? Mm -hmm. you remember that. Number 38 for the no, I think it's another fundraiser ribbon. Um, pink is usually breast cancer. What is white? I don't know, but doesn't it look like there's an ex a pink exclamation mark in the center? So I'm not sure what kind of an awareness ribbon that would be, but white with pink in the center anyway. And another ribbon coming up. This one's green. And I guess we didn't look this one up either. You know what green is? Um, there was a few of them, so I didn't write anything on the back to specify. Um, there was a few things that the green awareness ribbon could be. Okay. Number 31. Next, with a nice clasp on the back again. Oh, this is a cute one too. Yeah, it's, it's a, a little cactus. Cactus. Brass cactus. Number 53. Oh, this one's really cool. This one says Lynch. The school bus. And in the black trim, it says Lynch on there. What would that in mean? In the front and the top, it says school bus. Lynch, is that a town? Hmm, Somewhere? I don't know. Number 68. I tell you, it was a lot of fun going through these pins. And I'm long not done. <laughs> yeah. We just kind of very roughly sorted them. Number 68, the bus. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Danny. So we will be... <coughs> Excuse me. We will be bringing them... 
randomly throughout the sales. Yeah, we have some of our Canadian provinces. There's quite a few of those. And we'll probably bundle some um, of those together because there's yeah. so many. We've got so many Saskatchewan ones. Nix is a brass helicopter. That's the clasp on the back. No writing on the helicopter, just a cool pin. Number 34. I have one more tag than pins. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, oh, that's all right. Better than the other way around. The niche lady would like that one. Melissa, close second. Number 34. All right. We have a pink ribbon. That I'm pretty sure that'd be breast cancer. Yeah, I think this one, the this one probably is. 54. And this one really does look like a tie, but Rebecca has written on the back. Yeah, I did a Google Lens search on this one, and it came came up right away as um, what I have written on the back there. It is 1970s Weight Watchers pin. It's a Weight Watchers pin from the 70s. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it must be like a milestone pin in the Weight Watchers program. So it must be two W's? Somehow it must be, Mixed in yeah. there somehow? That one is number 44. And Rebecca wrote on the back, it's 1970s yeah. Weight Watchers. That is it. That is all. And it's only 517. Oh, wow. We rocked through those, hey? Yeah, that's really quick. Do you want us to run through the... We have a lot of items that didn't sell today. A lot of the... Uh, um, I'm guessing because they're more expensive, but we also paid more for these things. Yeah. They're not from the house anymore, This these items anyway. So we could... Make yeah. Sure says yes, please. You'd okay. like us to? Okay. Sure. We, we can through. definitely do that. So these are the pins that did not sell? Those are the ones that didn't sell, yes. I wasn't here earlier, so would love to see. Absolutely. Show Danny the dolphin and grapes. Okay. okay. And Debbie says yes as well. All okay. right. Well, let's grab the dolphin right away and All the grapes. Right. So we've had to, we, we mark up some to try and make a little bit of money on this stuff to pay for packing and whatnot. It's more of a hobby. We've paid to premium for these things because we, like them too. We think if we don't sell them, we can, I guess, always keep them. Yeah. But buy what you like, right? Melissa um, said you missed some too. So this, uh, he's, this one is not showing very well. I wonder if I would take, like he's, he looks better here than he does on camera. Yeah. He looks better in person. So what if I took your tray where you had your pins on? And oh, use that. That helps a little bit. Yeah. So this dolphin, I can't remember what it measured. Let me see here. I think you said six inches. He will be $15 and he's number Yes, it is nine. six inches, yeah. And there's no damage on him. He does have that little one, that one little mark, white mark in the glass right here by his eye. The niche lady would like him. And Melissa, Aww. thank you. 1220. All right. Thank you, Danny. He is going home to you. Next is we bought a bunch. We a collector had. Yeah. If you're in the market for lucite grapes, lucite we got grapes. you covered. Rebecca wanted lucite grapes. So we ended up finding locally a collector that had picked these up actually in, I think she said mostly Arizona is where she picked them up from. So it's they're very nice display pieces. Uh, we have different colors. This is one of the bunches, and it's on a piece of driftwood. Yeah. It's 14 inches long. Um, shipping, it has, like, I don't velvet know. leaves. Thanks, Melissa. It was $30 Canadian. And item oh, number? Where did you have that? Be. Oh, sorry. It is number 26. Um, the shipping... Um, I think Danny's in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he'd be going home? <laughs> yeah. It would probably be, yeah, this guy's pretty, pretty good, pretty good weight. I would say shipping would probably start at 25. 
25%. Canadian, yeah. So these grapes, um, they the lady said she had paid $65 for a bunch like this. So we thought we'll try to mark things so where you would be paying. Well, we're just trying to be reasonable, I guess. But uh, yeah, definitely understand the shipping costs. So 25 to Arizona, yeah. roughly? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, let's have a mallard duck. A mallard duck planter here. This one is about five inches, and it, it doubles as a wall pocket. I don't think that it has ever been used. It's in great condition. It's $10, number six. Well, the niche lady would like that. All right. I said I set it aside here. What did I say, number six? Yeah. Number six for that one. Thank right. you. Yeah, I can put it here. Sure. Um, you can show the sleigh bowl. Maybe Danny can tell me what it's actually called. So Rebecca <laughs> calls this a sleigh bowl. Just because it looks like a sleigh, I don't know. And it's kind of like Blue Mountain Pottery style, I guess, with the glazing. But it has like a, uh, a wood ring trim on the bottom. So what would this be called? Would it be called a sleigh bowl? Or would it be called something else? I don't know. No. So it's a, just a little trinket dish, I suppose. And it is... It's $5, number 25. About 8 inches long. And there was a nice shape. There's no chips on it that we can see. Looks like a planter. Yep, you could use it as a planter. Yeah. Be a very shallow, not very deep planter, but it would work. Or a sauce bowl. So I thought too, maybe a sauce oh, bowl you could pour it out. Yeah. But that could be. Um, we've got this. Um, the Lord's Prayer of NS uh, Niagara book. Falls image on there with the U.S. side of the Niagara Falls, and uh, that's what it looks like on the back. Made in Japan. In yeah, back. it does say made in Japan on the back. And that was five dollars, number seventeen. I've got the Noritake I call it the Noritake. The Noritake. <laughs> this one cleaned up really nicely. It was so dirty, but I cleaned it with a soft cloth, and it's shown up really nice. It's beautifully painted. Um, there is the Noritake on the back. It's nine and a half inches in diameter. $15, number 18. The Safari Animal Napkin Rings. These are hand carved. This Melissa, 1220 US. $10 for the six of them. So we have the lion. Yep. The zebra. The zebra. The rhinoceros. Giraffe. Two giraffes. This one yeah. is just the hidden there's this portion. One the other one well. is a full giraffe. And they do all sit, so you could use them as ornaments as well. And the cheetah. Wooden carved napkin. $10, dolls. number 19. The niche lady would like those. All right. Thank you. I'll give them back to Rebecca. We're trying to keep them separate so we don't get it mixed up. Yeah. I'll let you show the little birdies. Next, we have very nice painted, and we're thinking they're from Japan as well. I'm going to fill up that box and make the shipping worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Salt and pepper shakers, little birds, and the painting's done really well. They are very light. They both have their corks in them still, but it's just the detail is so done so well. Had their feet painted on there as well. Yeah, 
They're very nicely painted. I love the, the really light airbrushed almost look to his chest. Uh, they're $6, number 13. Um, the niche lady would like those. Okay, I'll let you show that. Thank you, Danny. And if I just went outside now and picked from our little, we have a little, little garden in the back and strawberries are out now. So this time of year is fitting for a milk glass strawberry cup. <laughs> the outside is in really nice shape. Um, it is made in Mexico and the brand's called term Termo Chrissa. I might, I'm not very well pronouncing things. I might butcher that. I don't know. Let's see if I can show you there. So the outside cleaned up really well, but the inside still has some, I don't know, yeah. some slight ring on there. I, I didn't try my best to get that out of there, but $3 for this and it's number seven. Melissa remembered it was $3. She's got a good memory oh, too. Wow. That's how she has all that knowledge in her brain. Yes. Niche lady would like that one. Okay. Thank you. Um, you want to sh show yep. seven. Sure. My daughter collects strawberry things for her kitchen. Oh, there. That's oh. perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure what to probably be a 1960s or 70s cup, I think. Next is an owl planter. There's a little tiny bit of crazing on him. I seen, I think he had. Yep, I see a little bit on, on him. Um, other than that, he's in really nice shape. There's no, Rebecca, she does this and she always feels around <laughs> on the tips of the ears. But he's in good shape. Uh, he has some felt on the bottom. Someone yeah. must put that on after. And he is $10, number three for the owl planter. And then we had a bag with about 11 yeah, brass items. Yeah, there's 11 in here. These brass miniatures. There's like a... Um, like Melissa said, baby grand piano. Yeah, very baby. And all these are in perfect shape. This one's in good shape. This is like your little wooden uh, wood carrier for about the car. <coughs> yep. Fireplace. This one I think is for... The fireplace tools. But the tools are missing. Yes. There's a little mug tree. No mugs. This is a, like a little solid brass. Um, I think it's like a paver because of the solid wheel in the front. So those old vintage pavers just had a little cap over the where the operator would sit. That one's a nice shape. This um, looks like a little vanity, but the mirror is missing. Solid brass kettle, which is in good shape. A telephone missing the receiver. That's too bad. Or is it a weigh scale? No, it's a telephone. I think so. And this is a little holder too. For, it looks like it would have been a fireplace. Piece, but that is missing a little clock time piece. That one looks to be in good shape. And my favorite, the little calculator. With the rolling paper. Yeah. So for all of those items, and again, some of them had pieces missing, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces is $15, number 20. 15 or 11. 11, I thought I counted. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11 pieces, sorry. 11 pieces. Then I've got this little girl here. Looks like she's reading to somebody. There's a little bird on her hat. She's got a few chippies along her hat brim here. Very large brimmed hat. She's sitting on a wooden stump, bell-bottom jeans. And her book that she's reading says, 
How do you do, Tom? Hello, John. And there's Those a painting of a swan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and her crop top. So I don't know who she is, but she's super cute. $8, number 15. She reminds me of the Toy Story lady. Like the Woody's oh. girlfriend. Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. But what was her name? I can't remember. I'm hmm. sure it's not her though. No, it's not. Eight dollars, number fifteen for that one. Then we've got the nursery rhyme smash bank. Oh, we should need to show that other smash bank. Too. Oh, right. Um, I don't remember what nursery rhyme this depicts on that side. Jesse. Jesse, yeah. And this is little Jack Horner, I believe. And he's, he's an angry, an pig. angry pig. He's going to get smashed. Yeah, he knows it. Little piggy tail. $8, number five. Mary, Mary, quick and cherry. How does your garden grow? Okay. Yeah. The others are saying as well. So on the topic of smash banks, yes. that one was $8 to smash that one. <laughs> this one, we're going to ask... This is not a vintage piece. Uh, we just thought it was really cool. And yeah. Thought it would fit in well to what we sell on here. It comes in its original box, it's, too. Yeah, it has its original box. And Melissa did say how to pronounce it. I already forget. Here's your slot for the cash. And this coin was inside. It's just uh, advertising for the company. And handmade in Italy. And painted in London. Yeah. So you can collect your coins in these little banks and you can smash them. They're just, they're appealing for on the shelf. And we're asking $20 for that one. And it yeah. is number 22. Terra Mundi. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Melissa. And it comes with its original paperwork too. Yep. Really cute story that goes with it. With its original box. We ship it in that box. Yes. Mundi. There is this um, Mexican pottery pig with the animal on it. I don't know what it is. Fox slash oh, deer. There's so many names. Raccoon. Raccoon. It's painted nicely though. Twelve dollars, number six. What we don't spend into display, eh? Mm hmm. We've got the pottery pot and creamer and sugar. That's a cool set. Yeah. It's this one. I don't know who done it. It's rough on the bottom. Yeah. That's what the lid looks like and the inside. And it comes with the creamer and sugar as well. So for the complete set, it's $15. Item number one, 70s, 80s, probably somewhere in there. And this one too, I don't believe is old. It is from the 10,000 villages and it says made in Pakistan. Thanks, Melissa. 15, 12, 20 US. We have a couple of $15 items in there. But it's some sort of um, quartz or agate that's been polished. You can see the rough on the inside of the tea light holder. This is about five inches across and it's quite heavy. $8, number 23. So not a large item, just a bit of a weighty item. And... We've got this lusterware planter. Tiger is uh, cleaning the elephant. Grooming, yes. Right we'll go the, with that, right? Right by the throat. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me happier to think that. And there is the marking on the bottom. The luster is great on this one. Dollars number four. 
couple more items. We've got the ashtray. I think it was four and a half inches. We have two more of these, in but the they're color. larger. And we yeah. could sell them as a set. We weren't sure if we should sell them as a set or just individually. Or sell the other one as a pair. Um, but this one is $5. Really good shape. Um, could be used as a cup hold, uh, holder. And then there's this really nice divided divided dish. It is. It's very easy. It is Sovereign Potters made in Canada. Fine angleware, I believe, is what it is stamped. So it's gray speckles, kind of. Yeah. White with gray speckles. It's painted really nicely, though. It is. Transferred. I'm not sure what that exactly is. $10, number 16 for that one. And our last item here is the pig. What in interweb tells me is a cracker dish. I think it would look really cute to put your Ritz crackers all lined up in there. This is the piggy. Or your cucumber. Or your cucumbers. Or your pigs in a blanket. Put your pigs in a blanket on the back of the pig. <laughs> That's terrible. And uh, yeah, so this little, or not very little, it is... 10 inches? 11. 11 inches long. Yeah. $10, number 12. Oh, the niche lady has. That is oh, so cute. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And that's everything. That's running through twice and we're done. Why we did this all really quick. Unless we do the pins again. If someone would be interested, we can we, we can, can do sell that. the rest of the pins as a lot. We could. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. If I get emails from you, does that mean you have five. my info? Um if um if that's your PayPal email, then I have your information. I would just need what your PayPal email is, Danny. So if anybody's interested, what would you sell the rest of the 25, 25 remaining of them? pins for? They were, um, they were selling them a dollar a piece. Yes. I would say seven bucks. Seven bucks? Mm -hmm. Seven bucks for all of them. And the one fell out, and we'll call it number 39. If you want 25 pins, because we have so many pins. Yes. We'll we, sell this we lot for seven dollars. Yeah. Niche lady. The niche lady. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Danny. I get emailed. Okay. That's we read that already. Yeah. So we'll show you one find that we think is pretty cool. We've been keeping our eyes open for a winky cup. Oh yeah. We'll just show it to you. Yeah. It'll come up sometime, I guess. I don't know if we'll give us an offer up or not. I'm hoping to get its pair, but we found a Bailey's or not a Bailey's, the Winky Cup without the Bailey's. We are so surprised and happy to find it. We've got the girl. Now we just need to find the boy. So that is the non Bailey's Winky Cup. And then we have the, we found one Bailey's as well. But we're yeah. keeping our eyes open for one of these. They're cute. Well, Melissa, thanks for putting that in the US dollars. Yes, thank you so much, Melissa. So we, That's very helpful. We're going to try to find the other one and then sell them as a pair, I think. Mm -hmm. we, again, we paid a good dollar for it because we just wanted it. And people <laughs> know that now already, I think. So they say, here come the suckers. <laughs> All right. So this so was 39 for... 39 for the rest, the remainder of the pins. Yep. And we'll bring more, some more pins in the future yes. to you. So then the chance to buy them maybe individually, and then we'll do them as a lot at the end. Yeah. If there's... I'm going to do a dedicated jewelry sale here coming up too. I've um, gotten a lot of brooches and some other jewelry pieces here that uh, we would be able to do enough for a jewelry sale. So that will be coming up sometime, probably in July. And I've also got enough for a Christmas in July sale. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I guess I wanna... you have possibly an Avon sale coming oh, up. Yes. 
You guys, we have we have lots of Avon. Um, so if you know any any of your friends are interested in uh, Avon products or they collect the vintage Avon, uh, that will be coming up here as well. And not just perfume bottles. We've got other pieces in there as well. So I think that's it for nice. today. So, yeah. um, thank you all so much for watching. And um, Any nativity pieces? Nativity? I don't um, think so, no. Um, we have some of that. I, I have a gobble donkey. That yeah. is a nativity piece. It's not Avon, obviously. No. Um, you know what? I think I do actually have an Avon nativity set. No. I think I do. Do you? I, Melissa says I got three Viking swung phases at the Cellian and Prince George online. Oh my store. goodness. Nice. Nishley says she collects the Avon and Gobel nativities. Oh, we have a donkey. Gobel. Yeah, I've got the donkey. A gray donkey we found. It is Avon. Oh my goodness. Look what I have, Danny. It is Avon. So just the just the angel? No, it's the it's oops. Oof. It's the nativity. So these will be coming up in the yeah. Avon, yeah. I've got one. Yeah, so that will be probably coming up here within the next few weeks. We'll be doing a dedicated Avon sale. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. We did our sale really quick today, yeah. somehow. Yeah. Usually we're at least two hours. Um, <laughs> thanks again for joining us, everybody that stay well, um, get better. If you're going through some health things and yeah join us again sometime in the future here yeah thank you all so much for um praying for for me during the difficult time of losing my mother i uh, i really really appreciate your prayers and as i mentioned before i i covet your prayers um continuously um, especially for my dad he's having a really hard time so Thank you all for uh, watching, and uh, we will be with you again in uh, next week's sale. Bye-bye. Yep. Thanks, Debbie.